In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Buenos Aires. At number one, we have El Ateneo Bookstore. El Ateneo Bookstore, once a grand theater and later a cinema, is now one of the world's most beautiful bookstores. The Guardian ranked it second, and its eclectic architecture is a testament to Buenos Aires' rich history of literature and arts. At number two, we have Cementerio de la Recoleta. Cementerio de la Recoleta is renowned as one of the world's most beautiful cemeteries. Housing the graves of notable figures like Evita Perón and the daughter of Napoleon, its mausoleums and rich history make it a unique site to explore. At number three, we have Feria San Telmo. Every Sunday, San Telmo, Buenos Aires' oldest area, hosts an antique market. Wander through historical trinkets, and during weekdays, explore the San Telmo Mercado for a taste of local cuisine and culture. At number four, we have El Caminito La Boca. El Caminito in La Boca is famed for its vibrant houses. Once home to Spanish and Italian immigrants, the area is now a canvas for local painters. Tango's roots are also believed to trace back here, adding to its cultural significance. At number five, we have Casa Rosada, Presidential Palace. Casa Rosada, located in front of Plaza de Mayo, is the executive office of Argentina's president. Known for its historical significance, visitors can stand on the balcony once graced by Evita and other national leaders. At number six, we have Puerto Madero. Puerto Madero, once a bustling port, underwent a transformation after World War II. Today, it boasts lofts, luxury apartments, and museums, with the Puente de la Mujer Bridge standing as its iconic landmark. At number seven, we have tango shows in Buenos Aires. While some locals deem tango shows as touristy, the dance and music performances in Buenos Aires are undeniably world-class. The skill and passion displayed are a testament to the city's rich cultural heritage. At number eight, we have Palacio Barolo. Palacio Barolo, inspired by the Divine Comedy, stands tall in Avenida de Mayo. With its eclectic design, the building offers guided tours, culminating in a breathtaking view from its beacon. At number nine, we have Evita Museum. Dedicated to the life of Eva Perón, the Evita Museum offers insights into the life of Argentina's famous first lady. The museum stands where the Fundación Eva Perón once provided shelter to women and children. At number 10, we have the Argentine Experience. The Argentine Experience is an interactive evening where participants learn about Argentine culture, wines, and even get to make their own empanadas. It's a delightful blend of education and entertainment. At number 11, we have Bike Tour Buenos Aires. For those short on time, a guided bike tour offers a quick overview of Buenos Aires' major attractions. Various companies offer tours, allowing visitors to experience the city from a unique perspective. At number 12, we have Torre Monumental. Standing tall in front of the Retiro train station, Torre Monumental offers panoramic views of Buenos Aires. Built in 1916, it's a historical landmark worth exploring. At number 13, we have the Congress. The political heart of Argentina, the Congress building is an architectural marvel. While the exterior is impressive, occasional tours offer deeper insights into the nation's political history. At number 14, we have Café Tortoni. Opened in 1858, Café Tortoni is a historic café that has hosted numerous famous Argentines. While it can get crowded, its 19th century ambiance offers a unique dining experience. At number 15, we have Sherpa Food Tour in Buenos Aires. The Sherpa Food Tour provides a gastronomic journey through Buenos Aires. With an English-speaking guide, participants explore Palermo Soho and sample traditional Argentine dishes at various restaurants. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Buenos Aires. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.